All right, guys, I've been playing cloud gaming for a couple of weeks now, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed. This is literally the first time I ever played my favorite game, Warzone, at 4K and hitting up to 130 FPS on my Mac. The performance just feel insanely good. But at the same time, I'm just curious, like, why cloud gaming isn't more popular? like barely anyone talk about it. So in this video, we will diving into it. I'll show you the best way to play cloud gaming on a Mac and also some of the limitations you should know before jumping in. But before we begin, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Zyk, an innovative tech company from Hong Kong that makes some really cool accessory for computers and mobile device. Last time I got to test their Thunderbolt 4 SSD enclosure and it actually become my daily driver. It's super fast, looks great, but my my favorite part is actually the USB 4 cable slot being right into the enclosure. It's so convenient, you can take it out very easily right here and then plug straight into your Mac and whenever you finish, just put it back. So you don't have to bring another USB 4 cable just for connectivity. And for this time, Zyke also sent me this foldable wireless charger and look at this. Can you believe this tiny device that fit in the palm of my hand can actually charge three devices simultaneously? You just open it, like fold it like this, and this is where you charge your phone, and the back, you're gonna charge your airport, and then a little handle, a little foldable charger right here is where you charge your Apple Watch. So three devices at the same time, and when you finish, you just put everything back like this. This is like a pocket size, so you can bring anywhere with you, travel or go to different place to work, coffee and charge three device. It's super convenient. And this is my favorite part. Whenever I put my phone in, it's actually a trigger the standby mode on the iPhone. So it turned into a big clock with different looks or a mini photo display, which looks so cool on my desk. This wireless charger from Zyk has both QE2 and MFW Duo certification, so it's safe, reliable, and super friendly with Apple products. And the best part, it's on sale right now, so I will leave the link in the description, and if you use my exclusive discount code, you will get 20% off. It is a great product, so make sure you check it out. All right, back to the videos. Let's talk about the best way to play cloud gaming on a Mac. We all know how to play, you just pop in your browser and play instantly. But that is not the best way to play cloud gaming because this is not gonna give you the best streaming experience. Sure, you can create an account, pick a subscription and start playing instantly. It's super convenient and I still do that sometimes. But the graphic is the main problem. They kind of suck. Even if you choose 4Ks with RTX 5080 tiers, the image still look like 1080p and you only get around 90 FPS. Now if you want the best streaming quality possible, especially if you are on the ultimate tier where you can play at 4K and 240 FPS, even though most games won't hit that, but getting 130 FPS is still way better than getting 90. So to unlock that quality, you need to install the GeForce Now app on your Mac. It takes under five minutes, you only do it once and the difference is absolutely worth it. Just look at this comparison. The next part is also crucial, which is making sure your internet is stable. And no, that doesn't mean you have to get the most expensive internet plan. If you are on fiber, that is great. But if you are on cable plans, just like myself, this is the best investment you could, you could make. Like with 20 bucks, you could get this internet cable and get a stable internet connection. Here's a quick comparison. Same internet plan, but this is what gameplay looks like on Wi-Fi stuttering like crazy, basically unplayable. And now here's what it's looked like with Ethernet. Completely smooth, no more Wi-Fi jitter or interference. The graphic looks stunning, performance is stable, mouse and keyboard feels perfect, and even the controller work flawlessly. So if your game is stuttering or you are noticing a bit of latency, your Ethernet might not be the reason. Most of the time you can fix it simply by switching to an Ethernet cable, and that alone can give you the smooth performance you are looking for. Step number three, quick configuration. It sounds serious, but it's actually super easy to do. When you launch the GeForce Now app for the first time, heading straight into settings. And there's a bunch of options over here, but the two important ones are connection. This is where you link your game store like Steam, Epic, or Ubisoft so you can play the game you already own. The second one is gameplay. 
This is where you choose your stream settings. They have preset, just like regular game settings. So you can simply pick one and start playing. I usually go with custom mode, but if you don't understand this stuff, don't shred it. Just pick a preset and enjoy your game. So yeah, G4 now feels like an ultimate way to play games on a Mac. But just like any other method, it does have some limitation. It supports over 4,000 games, which is a lot. But your favorite titles still might not be on the list. Big games like GTA V or Red Dead Redemption 2 aren't available on GFN at all. And some titles just won't open even if they appear in your library. If that happens to you and you still want to play that game on your Mac, your next option is crossover. The performance isn't anywhere near G4 now, but the license is way more affordable and honestly a lot of game can still hit around 60 FPS, which is solid for casual play. But of course, some game with strict anti-cheat system like Battle Eyes in Destiny 2 won't run on either G4 Now's or Crossover. For those, you will need to use Parallels, a window virtual machine to actually bypass that. I think cloud gaming make a lot of sense for people who use low spec device as long as they have a good internet connection. Something like this old MacBook Pro, you can still play great game with this with high quality. Or even if you use one of the latest M5 MacBook Pro like this, and you still want the best gaming experience? Cloud gaming's also the way to go. You can jump into a game instantly. Some title needs to download, but it only takes a few minutes. So if you're work during the day and just want to game a bit in the afternoon or evening, this makes way more sense than spending thousands on a gaming PC. And even if you don't want to spend money, the free tier still works. It's limited to 1080p, 60 FPS, and one hour session but it is still worth trying out. And as a Mac user for years, playing at 1080p is basically one of my special skills at this point. So let me know in the comment what do you think about cloud gaming and make sure to check out this foldable Qi 2 wireless charger from Zyde. This is a pretty cool product. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon in the next video.